Welcome to lesson two of the Dark Isle Get Bagpipe Ready workshop. You can get all four lessons completely free at the link in the video description below. If you enjoy these lessons, be sure to give me a thumbs up so I know and I'll keep making lessons just like this so you can get bagpipe ready. Without any further ado, we'll go through the second phrase of Dark Isle. I'll go through the non-embellished version and then we'll go through the embellished version. But I'll just give you a sense of what uh, both versions sound like right now. So we're doing the second phrase here. There's the embellished version, here's the non-embellished version. And put it in context with what we've done so far. So you already hear the sound of the tune coming out now, which is super exciting. So let's go into the non-embellished version. We're starting on the E, so our pinky finger is up on the bottom hand, our ring finger is up on the top hand. That's our E note. And that's that's what our first little phrase of this second second part we're working on is. So we have a long, short, long. And that second note, we start on the E, we're dropping down to the D. So that, that is a tricky transition, but we, we work on that transition a few times. We've already done a D up to E, so if you pause and you worked on that, E to D should be no problem. So just to review, we're doing E, ring fingers dropping down at the same time, our pinkies dropping down, and those three fingers of the bottom hand are lifting up. From that D, we're going down to the B, so our top hand doesn't change at all. Our top two fingers come down on the bottom hand, and the pinky comes up. So that's D to B. Oh, sorry, snuck in a grace note. <laughs> long, short, long. So that's the first part of this, this phrase we're working on. Second part is kind of the, the, the echo of it. So here we have short, long, long. So that, that low A we're going to hit next, off the B we're going to hit the low A, drop one finger to low A, but it's a short low A. So we drop down to low A, but not we're not on that low A too long before we drop right down to the G. So we drop the pinky, now we have all the notes on, all the fingers on the holes. And then we just lift that pinky finger and end up on low A again. So that's the second, second part of this phrase, so let's put both those two together. So that's the non-embellished version. Let's jump into the embellished version next. And there's no D throws in this lesson, unlike lesson one, so you don't have to panic. Uh, we have a couple grace notes and a doubling. So we're on the E. We start with a, a G grace note on that E. And we should probably back up a step here. So we're actually on the D. That's where we end the first phrase. Remember that D throw? So we're on the D, we have to get from the D to the E and we're going to get there with that G grace note. So the top finger of the top hand has to be the first finger to lift and the last finger to come down with that busy transition. So that's that grace note. So we have the G grace note on the E. We just drop down to the D, no, no grace notes required, but from the D, we're going to do a doubling on that B. So the D down to the B, we're doing a doubling on that B. So to get from the D to B, 
we get there with our first of the two grace notes, two grace notes doubling, okay? Uh, so we get there with a G grace note down to B. So again, that top finger of the top hand is the grace note finger in this G grace note. We, you need it to be the first to lift and the last to come down with that transition of dropping those two top fingers of the bottom hand and lifting that pinky. And to get the second grace note, we're going to do a D grace note, so top finger of the top hand. So we do that immediately after uh, we, we finish that transition with the G grace note. We do the second grace note up and down, top finger of the top hand. And it's good not to be in a rush and miss one of them, because then it's not going to sound like a doubling. So it's better to play it slow and get all the mechanics right, and it, it, it will always speed up uh, down the road. So, so don't try to rush and, and miss playing one of those. You should be able to hear both those grace notes distinctly. Okay, so that's the first phrase. Long, short, long. So from here we have three grace notes in a row with three note transitions. We're on the B, we're going to do a G grace note down to low A. So that's top finger of the top hand. But we don't hang on that low A very long. The low A is going to be a short note. So, we'll, so we do that low A, and then we're going to do a D grace note, top finger of the bottom hand, down to low G. And that can be, that can be worthwhile to just kind of pause and practice, so especially you know, that, that low G, the grace note down to low G can, can feel a little awkward if you haven't done it in any other tunes. So let's just kind of pause and practice that a little bit. And then that third note, that last note, we're going up to low A again but we're getting there with a G grace note. So we have G grace note from B to low A, then we have a D grace note, top finger of the top bottom hand now, down to low G, all the fingers are on the chanter, then we have our G grace note, top finger of the top hand again, to come up to low A. So that's, there's, you know, it's, it's busy when we have those three grace notes in a row, but play it slow, get, get the mechanics right, get it in your head, have that low A be a shorter note. So if you're playing it slow, you don't have to rush it, but it is going to still be a shorter note than the, than the B and, and the, um, the low G. Okay, and we'll put that together with the first part of this phrase. Okay, so you have got the first half of the first line of Dark Isle under your belt. If you want to get all four lessons, all the first four lessons, which gives you the first line of Dark Isle uh, completely free, you can look at the video link, the description below, get that link, get the first four lessons um, of, of my Tune Workshop completely free. If you've enjoyed these lessons, leave me a thumbs up. I'd love to see those thumbs up on the videos. It gives me encouragement to keep making more videos. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in, and until next time, happy piping.